The number of Western Mass residents experience homelessness has reached a five year high and today local leaders gather to discuss that growing problem. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri joining us live in studio after getting answers on what's causing the uptick and what's being done to combat the crisis. Reagan. Yeah, Chris, I spoke with the director of the Western Massachusetts Network to End Homelessness, Pamela Schwartz. She tells me she believes post pandemic strain played a big role in this rise of homelessness. Elected officials on every level of government and across the Western Mass community came together Friday for the seventh annual regional gathering of the Western Massachusetts Network to end homelessness at Hoyo Community College. It's incredibly inspiring, the commitment that was in this room today. It's, it's what gives hope in the face of a very daunting and challenging situation. Local leaders discussed how they can fight homelessness by addressing issues like the affordable housing crisis. This after new numbers show Western Mass has reached a five-year high when it comes to homelessness. In the most recent point in time count, over 3,300 people across the four counties of Western Mass were counted as homeless. The figure includes over 2,200 families and over 1,000 individuals. According to the findings, this is higher than the last five years and shows a 24% increase from 2021. As for what led to this uptick, director of the Western Massachusetts Network to End Homelessness, Pamela Schwartz, tells Western Mass News post-pandemic strain could be to blame. Anyone who is living on the edge is of, of paying bills in the face of that stress is that much more at risk of falling into homelessness. She adds that the end of the eviction moratorium along with additional rental assistance and eviction protections during the pandemic may have led to some negative consequences on the homeless front. What we need to do is invest in what we know worked, grab from that trauma of the pandemic experience and implement the policies in a lasting way because we do know what works. As for what some of those solutions are. Things like protecting uh, people from evictions um, while their rental assistance applications are pending. It would be providing a lawyer for people who are facing eviction. Right now, 85% of landlords have lawyers when they face an eviction. 10% of tenants have lawyers. It's a huge imbalance that leads in unnecessary evictions. George tells me the power of our elected officials working hand in hand with those who have lived experiences of homelessness or housing instability have the power to make change. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News.